we're asked to write the quadratic function f of x equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 8 in vertex form. Notice how the given quadratic function is in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This form is sometimes referred to as general form or standard form. Our goal is to write the given quadratic function in vertex form, which is the form f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex of the parabola. One method to write the quadratic function in vertex form would be to complete the square, but instead of completing the square, what we'll do is use these formulas here that we know we can use to find the equation of the axis symmetry as well as the coordinates of the vertex. Once we find the coordinates of the vertex, we can write the quadratic function in vertex form, where in this form, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a, and therefore the x-coordinate of the vertex is also negative b divided by 2a. And then to find the y-coordinate, we need to find the function value f of negative b divided by 2a. So beginning with the given function, we have f of x equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 8. Now let's identify the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 3, the coefficient of x squared, b is equal to 6, the coefficient of x, and c is the constant term, 8. So now we'll find the equation of the axis of symmetry, which is x equals negative b divided by 2a, which in this case would be negative 6 divided by 2 times 3. Simplifying, we have negative 6 divided by 6, which equals negative 1. So now we know the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1, and we also know the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 1. And now we'll find the y-coordinate of the vertex by evaluating the quadratic function at the input value or x-value of negative 1. So the y-coordinate is f of negative 1, which is equal to 3 times the square of negative 1 plus 6 times negative 1 plus 8. Simplifying here, we'd have the square of negative 1 is positive 1, Positive 1 times 3 is 3. And here we'd have plus negative 6 or minus 6 plus 8. 3 minus 6 plus 8 is equal to positive 5. So now we know the y-coordinate of the vertex is positive 5. And now we have all the information we need in order to write the quadratic function in vertex form. The value of a in vertex form is the same as the value of a in standard form or general form shown here. So we know a equals 3, and because we now have the vertex, we know h equals negative 1 and k equals positive 5. And therefore, the quadratic function in vertex form would be f of x equals a, which is 3, times the quantity x minus h squared, that would be x minus negative 1 squared plus k, so we'd have plus 5. Of course, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So let's write this as f of x equals 3 times the quantity x plus 1 squared plus 5. So this is the quadratic function in vertex form. But before we go, let's verify our work graphically. If we were to graph both equations on the same coordinate plane, we get the same parabola. And notice how the vertex is negative 1 comma 5 verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.